I'm an addict for sneakers, 20s of Buddha and bitches with beepers in the streets I could reach her. Yo, what's good? It's your boy Nate Triple OG coming to you guys with another video. I know it's been a long time. <laughs> Did you miss me? Uh, you probably get that if you was a, a fan of like the show Martin, one of my favorite people. Anyway, 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 I always get into these tangents and start talking about other things. But anyway, got this review for you guys. I've had the shoe. I want to say maybe like two weeks now. I should have did the review once I got it. Um, I went to this uh, Concord Classic that was uh, held in Chicago. Dope event. Don't have any footage to really show you guys of that. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the shoe. Concord Jordan 11. So let's go ahead and get into it. Boom. Here's the box right here. So they gave us this old school box. Not the box that we were accustomed to getting from the previous years. I believe the last time we got like some corny box was uh, back when the uh, the breads came out. That came inside the regular Jordan box. But this one, I guess they tried to go old school OG with the box since it does have that high cut of pat leather. We got that Nike on the outside of the box also. But let's go ahead and get up close and personal with uh, the pricing, the colorway, and all that other stuff that you guys already know about the Jordan 11s. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So you got the box like this, got that Jordan air, air in the middle. I guess that's how the OG box was. Um, whatever, got this little sticker here. I don't know what that's for. I got these from Foot Locker. Like I said, they were selling these early. Um, let's go ahead and get into the side right here. So there you go. The size is a nine and a half Air Jordan 11, white, black, Concord, you know, made in China. Blase, blase, blah. But who gives a fuck about a box? Let's go ahead and get inside these shoes. Bow. So when you open it up, you got that plastic here, whatever. Boom, let's go ahead and get into it. Concord, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I saw a few videos talking about a whole bunch of defects, but let's go ahead and get up close and personal with the shoe, and then we can go ahead and get into that. So voila, there you have it. Um, I don't know if I really need to go into in depth about the Concord. They've, they've released so many pairs. You got the Jim Reds, those win like 72s. Um, it's Space Jams recently came out. So obviously it's the same exact stuff, just different colors. So there you go, icy white. So, Concord purple there, carbon fiber there. Pat leather, that high cut, has those peaks that everybody talks about right there, as you can see. Boom, got that peak right there. Got that peak right there. Yeah. Anyway, so that's the shoe. Um, logo, like that. 45 on the back. I haven't even unlaced these things. Probably should give you guys an on feed too. I guess I'll do that. Also, uh, let's open it up. So the same thing, Nike Air and the inside comes with a, what is it, like a purple shoe tree? Oh, should I say purple? I should say Concord. Jesus, they got everything stuff in there. Anyway, it comes with that in there. I don't know. Are you guys upset that you don't have that special box? You know what I mean? I don't know. Got that Jumpman Jordan right there with that Concord purple Jordan logo right there, you know? Pretty dope shoe in my opinion. One of the classics, a shoe that everybody must have in their collection. The last time these released, I believe was in 2011. That's around the time my son was born. So I really was uh just then getting inside of like, I was just then getting into sneaker collecting. You know what I mean? I didn't really collect sneakers. Always had a whole bunch of sneakers, rocked them, fucked them all up and then just got rid of them. Never kept my sneakers after I trashed them up. Anyway, yeah. So as far as like, factory flaws so i don't know if i just got a good pair like i'm okay with this you know that little coming up like that i'm all right with that i'm also all right with that there but i don't see any like scuffs marks the patent leather is clean you know what i mean even on the back i don't see any like factory issues with my pair you know what i mean maybe i'm not paying close attention but my pair looks great you know like i said i got a nine and a half i did have the opportunity to get a size nine I did not, I don't know, because I planned on getting these for my son, but I'm gonna get him something different. You know, he wears my size now. So that's something like, that's that's a that's a thing. So anyway, boom, 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 boom. Nothing that you don't know about the shoe. Now, if you if you pay like a a person to go pick these up early for you or whatever, you know, that's cool. And since I live in Chicago, you always able to get like uh, stuff early. You know, if you're actually out there, you know what I mean? Or if not early, there are those stores where you know you'll be able to get your pair. Now, these should be everywhere. 
like at this event that I was at, like people had like boxes on boxes and boxes of these and I had got there late and I was still able to get that size nine or that size nine and a half. And we all know that nine times out of 10, not trying to be funny or anything, but that's the money size, you know what I'm saying? But let's stop talking about this. We'll have some more discussion after we do this real quick on feet. The music choice that I chose today, I'm trying to like stick with like homegrown artists. Well, not homegrown from Chicago, but I'll say indie artists. And this song is really funny to me. I didn't know if I should choose this or choose something else. I do have another video real special that I have been working on as far as like with these concords and everything. Um, it's gonna be a dope video, but that's neither here nor there. Let's go ahead and get us to this on feet. I hope you guys like the music. If you like the song, the link will be down below. But let's get into that right about now. It's a check. Anorexic little pump, you a whole bitch nigga. I call Mike Zombie. He don't know this nigga. I call Ratch up. He said, I don't know this nigga. I'm trying to figure out who the fuck know this nigga. What the fuck is a nine anyway? Where's that? I put bitch in my GPS to see where he was at. You can't rap about being real. After you snitch, your pops hand out napkins to niggas after they piss. You look like you in the middle of a mall. Had a kiosk harassing the fill out service to win a fiat. Tuesdays you sell shoe spray in front of Claire saying shit like, I can get them stains out of there. You look like an abortion. Got brought Back through, resuscitated, got A's and it grew into you I'm the Valentino Viper nigga, big for now My buck's up, here's nine reasons to shut the fuck up One, two, and three, you snitching ugly, phony Reason four, five, and six, you awkward niggas is posers Reason seven, eight, nine, you just look like a hoe A plan with a marketing budget make you feel like you own Every cubic in that necklace will fail the diamond tester Like a Mr. whole semester, couldn't copy no notes On P&B, right, dick, stop copying flows Go to Office Depot and get some facts with you, bro Actually, I leveled up from a factory to a factory Where I make niggas like like you just acting like me just go home stop if i slap you probably be like come on grop rough draft little sky sound cloud doodle bob me her mean ass nigga getting flamed by this black and filipino ass nigga don't say nigga in none of your songs don't spell a letter hope your mama died maybe you could raise yourself better give a fuck about them plays you got bought them plays at the same place you bought that watch nigga in china i'm the boost you need bust down bully that's your reminder put respect on me fam when you talking to the grand bitch i'm big for now Weird ass nigga, you talking to me, talking big for now. <laughs> Got me on my character, nigga, I'm big for now. Yeah. Stupid ass nigga, I'm big for now. Should've slapped you at the cold Benny show, nigga, I'm big for now. Then I should've slapped your ass at the barbershop when I see you now, I'm big for now. Getting big, giving niggas a. So I hope you guys were able to appreciate that on feet. I really, really, really like that song. I don't know who Snitchy from the Nine is, but he a bitch. You know what I'm saying? I put bitch in my GPS just to see where you at. I thought that line was so fucking funny. Anyway, anyway, straight to this Concord. Yo, this is my first time ever trying this shoe on. Um, I've had this pair of shoes before. I had it like back in the day, I guess, when the OG came out. My mom bought me these pair. Um, I got the shoe so fucking dirty that she was pissed and back in 2011 that's when my son was born so when i see this shoe that's what i think about i think about my son being born and how i wanted to get everybody a pair but due to my situation at the time i wasn't able to um so i wasn't able to get a pair and especially because i wasn't about that camp out life anyway um the shoe is amazing it feels good on my feet i'm glad i do have it with that 45 on the back i'm really not feeling that that's uh i'm not feeling it more or less because it's not stitched. I'm thinking if you're gonna go ahead and put 45 on the back, go ahead and stitch me in. You know what I mean? Don't give me the like the stuff that's gonna break off eventually. Go ahead and stitch me in. I thought that would have been a dope, nice little, a dope touch. Um, but other than that, I don't see anything really wrong with the shoe as far as like quality. But I, re I really enjoy the shoe. I enjoy the shoe. Um, I'm gonna rock the hell out of this shoe. I'm probably gonna wait a little bit and let everybody get this shit all dirty. Might bust these out in the summertime. You know, one time for them. I know people that had the 2011 pair that never got those wears in, you know what I mean? And they probably pissed because you know how the bottom of the sole start uh, turning, you know what I mean? That type of thing. So I gotta get this off, you know, especially when it's icy with a nice fit, some tapered jeans. Um, as far as sizing goes, I went a half size up. I usually get a size nine, but it's usually um, tight around here on the toe box because the shoe is kind of narrow. So I went with a nine and a half. Um, 
fits perfect still. You know what I mean? So going a half size up is not bad. For those people who don't know how to get this shoe, if you live in Chicago or if you stay where a, DT, uh, a DTLR or a villa is at, uh, usually they have like little things for like Christmas. So if you take a toy in, you know what I mean? You'll be able to get guarantees your size. Well, definitely that's happening in Chicago. If you uh, take a toy inside of like villa, um, yeah, because Villa and DTLR are combined now. But if you take a toy in there and you donate in the toy uh, for, you know, the kids for Christmas, uh, you'll be able to guarantee your shoe size. Um, there's certain stores out there that do have toys. It's like $9.99, buy two, get two free. You know what I mean? So that's a thing, especially with Toys R Us not being around anymore. So right now, it's a lot of stores that have deals on toys. And, you know, you got to look out for the kids. So do something for somebody else and don't just think about yourself, you know. But with you doing something for, for somebody else, you're also helping yourself out by getting this pair of shoes. Um, so what do you guys think? Um, I do have a question that I want to ask. So, like... The Concord has released so many times, so I wasn't really like I said, I wasn't excited about having a shoe because the Concord, the Concord is released every year. I think this year they released like like at least like six pairs. You got the Jim Reds, you got the uh, that win like seventy two or yeah, win like ninety five or whatever the fuck. Then you got those uh, the black ones that came out with the suede. You also have that platinum pair that came out. And now you have these here, you know what I mean? Like that's five pairs of Concord within one year. Um, that's a lot. Um, yeah, that, that's a lot. So it kind of seems like, I, I wouldn't say devaluing the shoe because you know, it's people that like the shoe. And I'm guessing like, I, I guess you could say, well, this is a different colorway. This is an iconic colorway. So those other colorways doesn't affect this one. And I definitely agree with that because I'm glad I had this pair. Um, I'm glad I got this pair, you know, um, but as far as like that height meter, you know what I'm saying? Um, the height is not there, but I'm sure that everybody's going to get the pair because, you know, Concords and Christmas, that that's a thing, you know what I mean? So... Yeah, that's all I got, man. Sorry for having, sorry that I haven't been putting out videos like that. It's not that I can't put them out. Um, I, it's just that I'm lazy. You know what I'm saying? It's like I have a, I've been in positions to put out a lot of content, but I'm just lazy and I haven't done it. Um, I need to get better at that. Uh, thank you for all my subscribers. Thanks for all the people that's watching the videos. Again, I don't do this to make money. I do these because I like to make videos, and I'm glad you guys are tuning in to watch my videos. Peace. Holla at you guys next time. I got another video coming for you guys, and I promise it won't be like a month from now. Holla at you guys next time. Peace. Myself, no time, so